Something really cool to see is going to be the constellation Orion. Now, Orion's a big constellation. A lot of you will recognize it. It's got the three stars in a row, which make up its belt. And it's got the Orion Nebula, which is where stars are being born. But the really neat thing is there's going to be a star called Betelgeuse, which means um, the giant's shoulder. Now, Betelgeuse is this red supergiant. It's so huge that if it were right where our sun is, it would actually encompass the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. It's giant. It's about a thousand times bigger around than the sun. Now, the thing is this star, curiously, since about October, has been getting dimmer and dimmer. This star is at the very end of its life. It's a red supergiant and it's just about run out of fuel. So it's very likely that at some point in the relatively near future, which for astronomers can mean a long time, it's going to go supernova, where it'll explode and it'll be as bright perhaps even as the full moon, who knows. Now, because this star is 500 light years away, what the, the star might not even be there anymore. It might have already gone supernova. But in any case, it's very curious behavior. So for the last few months, it's been getting dimmer and dimmer. So who knows? Maybe this Sunday will be the day. But in any case, it'll be a great um, time out, uh, right when everyone's busy with all the holidays, to come out and uh, see some stars on the 29th at 6 p.m. And who knows, we might just have a supernova. It's not likely, but you never know.